A group of UCF engineering students have received a $25,000 grant to develop a biosensor device that could detect toxins in surface water. UCF Nightly News reporter Afra Alnamani shows us what these students have accomplished. The Environmental Protection Agency gave the group of engineering students the money to develop a biosensor. They say that the purpose of developing the technology is to have a cost-effective way of testing the safety of water. Associate Professor Wu Hyung Lee, who overlooks the students' research, says he was thrilled when they received the grant. Uh, our project, we are expecting, we can give some early warning uh, method to prevent this, uh, the algal toxins is getting severe. The MCLR, if congested by a human, can cause gastrointestinal and abdominal distress. But on a more serious case, MCLR can lead to damage of the liver or kidneys. It can also be deadly for pet animals. The student's device uses antibodies to detect the harmful algae. The next stage of the development is refining the biosensor so the device detects the right antibodies as accurate as possible. They hope to use it later in real-world scenarios. You actually need to be able to develop a calibration curve that helps you with that particular water that you want to test. So once you're able to develop this curve with this microsensor, then you can always use that curve to determine the levels of the MCR in, in your waters. Jennifer Hughes, a junior environmental engineering major, says she has an interest in environmental issues and working on the project helped her hone her research skills for the future. In Orlando, Afra El Namani, UCF Nightly News. Professor Lee says they're preparing for phase two of the research. If they're granted their award, $100,000 will be awarded to the team to implement the biosensor design.